We're here in downtown Charleston at Prohibition, a little bar and eatery on King Street. And they're fully embracing Christmas with Sippin' Santa, with specialty drinks and mugs and specialty items on their menu. Let's check it out. I'm a Charleston native. I love to go on cruises, travel to amazing places, and enjoy local cuisine. This is local Charleston. Now, when I came to Prohibition to experience Sip and Santa, I thought it was an event specifically held by Prohibition, but it actually turns out it's an international pop-up. There are over 50 Sip and Santa places all over the United States and in Canada. They all run along the same theme of uh, holiday Christmas at the beach. Every place is super decorated, their menu is completely changed, and their drink menu is completely changed. As we came in, a live band was belting out Christmas carols. As we walked around, we were just taken over by all these twinkling lights and Christmas decorations every single place you look. Not only is Prohibition itself decorated, but the staff put on their Christmas finest. The whole event started in 2015 at the Boilermaker in New York. In 2018, Sip and Santa joined forces with Tiki Connoisseur Jeff Beachbum Barry. Beachbum Berry has been described by Imbibes Magazine as one of the 25 most influential cocktail personalities in the past century. Now while the menu items for food are different at each Sip and Center location, the cocktail menu is specific in every place. You get the same drinks no matter what Sip and Santa event you go to, all made by Beachbum Berry. Most of the cocktails come in tiki inspired ceramic mugs, fit for the holidays. Now, while you don't get to keep the mug with the drink, they do have the mugs available for purchase if one of them jumps out at you. Now, let's see what they have to offer. You can pause it here and check out what drinks are available at Sip and Santa. Here are the various mugs that are available for purchase. The event is so popular, it even made the cover of the Charleston City paper. Now, of course, I had to get the signature Sip and Santa, which comes with aged rum, Amaro, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, lemon, orange, and a gingerbread mix. He's all decked out with his ukulele and beach umbrella, and I especially thought it was funny that the surfboard had a shark bite out of it. That's cute. The drink was light and crisp and very refreshing. Now, my wife went with the Jingle Bird, Bourbon, pineapple rum, Campari, lime, pineapple, and jingle mix. It has a picture of Santa surfing on the front and palm trees on the back. Check out that wild garnish they have going on too. That's pretty interesting. The drink itself was tangy and citrusy and definitely a Christmassy delight. Keeping with the Christmas theme, we went with the North Pole Poutine. Crispy fries, white cheddar, frog au jus, and scallions. The fries were nice and crispy, but I'll tell you one thing. Being a cheese lover, I really would have appreciated a lot more cheese on this one. But still, not bad. It had a really nice portion size as well. Now this was a very interesting and unique dish. This is their cranberry glazed hot wings. Cranberry chili sauce sprinkled with blue cheese. Now, I had my doubts whether or not cranberry would be a good uh, flavor for wings, but it actually tasted pretty good, and you really did get good sweet cranberry flavor. And offset with that tangy blue cheese, it was a nice combination. The wings were also a very nice size, which is very important to me. I don't like tiny little wings. Now, since we've got two appetizers, my wife and I decided to go ahead and split a burger. This is a seven ounce grass-fed Angus burger with a bourbon bacon jam, cheddar, pickles, lettuce, tomato, and a garlic aioli. Now I was nervous because I couldn't find the bacon jam anywhere, but it turns out it was under the cheese. And they even offered me an extra cup of bacon jam to put on top as well. Now our server here was exceptional, so we decided to throw her in with a little sip and Santa in her hand just for fun. 
Now, if you're looking to get a boozy drink in a place that looks like Christmas just exploded all over the place, head down to Prohibition for Sippin' Santa. And I wish all of you a very Merry Christmas. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and follow. It doesn't cost you anything, and it helps to grow the channel. And we put out a new restaurant video each week. And as always, thanks for watching.